Because, dude, I'm in Midtown. I see a lot of, like, young Indian kids, and they're just, like, they act black. Like, they drop they, the N-bomb. They, 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 act, they act black in the they way. They drop the N-bomb. They act Which black in the way the white, white guys act black. See, we don't have Uyghurs anymore. Indians stole that from us. <laughs> yeah. So they're, they like, culturally they appropriated stole our that from culture. From no, no, because the Indians, because they're, they're, all their families are, like, affluent. All their families yeah. are, like, doctors that make, you know, <laughs> millions of fucking dollars. So they're rich kids. All <laughs> the Indians are, Indian. are rich kids. No, pretty much, dude. Like, the average income for, like, an Indian family in America is, like, $100,000. Nice. That's the average. That weird, but, yeah. Get yeah. it. But uh, yeah, no, they stole they stole Wiggerdom from because there aren't any more. They don't have them. Ah, uh, there's Dundo. a dude. I don't know, man. I yeah. think you gotta go. No, you gotta, that's just you like go a to the clothing stuff. Yeah. Dude, I'll tell you this: Northern California, like Podunk, Northern California. Yeah. Like, oh, some good Colorado trash. But yeah. I mean, like a guy that's like, nah, I'm saying, nah, I mean, you know, like yeah, one of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those guys are still very few. But no, you but you're right them. though. As a culturally though, culturally, there's way gone. more yeah. like Indian dudes doing that right now, and just Indian people in general. South I mean, Asian, I would say. There was a, there was a kid that I remember from uh, middle school that would walk around with like an, a very affected pimp limb, <laughs> like that was from class right. to class. Remember, there was a terrifying. White and people kid were like, "That's just how he is. That's his thing." There was and a it's kid. Like, I guarantee you, he's not doing that now. At whatever bank. <laughs> I don't even want to say this guy's full name because he was legitimately terrifying. Yeah. His name was Andy, and he used to wear, I don't want to say his full name, he wore Afro Sheen in his hair. <laughs> That's how big of a wigger he was. Yeah. Straight up. Or he'd be like, what's up, dog? But he was also a live wire. Yeah. That's why when Chappelle put out Killing Him Softly and he did that joke. Yeah, the about, joke about, about the, the yeah. most dangerous motherfucker in them groups. Mm-hmm. Immediately I thought of Andy. I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know who that is and that he's fucking crazy. Yeah. Dude, Spider, we were talking about Spider. That's how it all got started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One night, me and my friend Mike and Byron are sitting on Mike's driveway, right? And we're just hanging out. Suburbs, upper middle class neighborhood. Right. Middle class to upper middle class neighborhood. Straight up suburbs. And we're sitting there, and this fucking Cadillac just comes rolling down and takes a hard corner. And uh, Byron goes, I think that's Spider's Cadillac. And I was like, yeah, but where's Spider going? He was going up the street towards our friend Joel's house. All of a sudden, the Cadillac just fucking turns around, flips a bitch, and starts driving towards us. And we're like, well, this is kind of getting weird. Right. Fucking across the street, over the street, up the driveway. We're like, ah! We just take off, go around the side of the house to Mike's house, <laughs> jump the fence, get into his house, and shut the sliding glass door and lock it, and fucking Spider and Andy are just at the door, fucking beating on it. And we're like, oh! And then Wait, why, Mike, were, why were you afraid of them? Because they were going to kick the shit out of us. For what? What did you do? I don't know. Just they just started running at us. Dude, oh, they just shit. broke out at us. We were going to stand there and be like, let's figure out what's going on. Right. These yeah. two dangerous dudes. And they just, they chased, obviously they were going to try to fuck us up. Yeah. Holy shit. chased us in the backyard. Dude, that was... It was so crazy because it was one of the things where I ran in the house being like, yeah, we didn't have to do that. And I looked and I was like, yeah, they were there. There was like this guy that was like a wig that I remember when I was a teenager. A wig. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, that's, you know, you get to say that word. So yeah. I want to fucking. You really get it. Yeah. Get yeah, your yeah. money's worth uh-huh. out of it. Yeah, definitely. So, no, but he's he, one of the, and he's like a dumb guy that said, had like a great line. Yeah. And it's still one of the funniest things I've ever heard. We're like sitting around like a table and uh, some like these two girls were talking about like IQs or whatever. Mm-hmm. And she, one of them is like, well, my IQ is 120. So that's like really smart. And the other one's like, oh, really? Because mine's 121. You know, and they're, like, <laughs> they're like doing that back and forth. And this kid who's, you know, white bandana, white fitted cap, you know, yeah. like big white T-shirt where they dress like black guys. But then the clothes all have to be white, like they have like, <laughs> the white Air Force Ones. So it know? makes them all look super pale. Yeah, dude. yeah, yeah. Well, they have to match their skin tone. They just do like a fucking, you know, like uh, where they take like uh, Sub-Zero and make him Scorpion. Yeah. So they look like a black guy. Like they just change. They do that, <laughs> where it's like the alternate outfit. Yeah. In where you were like, Mortal oh, dude, Kombat. check this out. This guy's got a white guy filter. Oh! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so he's sitting there. Light at the table. blue too. They like a lot of light blues. Oh yeah, yeah. Carolina blue baby. He's star heels. <laughs> he's sitting there at the chair, like as completely slouched as possible, yeah. with his like pants basically pulled down to his ankles, like he's fucking, you know, just as relaxed as possible. And they're talking about IQs, and he goes, "Man, I ain't even gonna bring my IQ up because you wouldn't, man, y'all wouldn't even believe me if I told you." <laughs> and I was like, "What's your IQ?" And he goes, and he's like. 472. <laughs> <laughs> what a dipshit. Dead serious. 
<laughs> or the dip 472. Or the dip shit. I was like hyperventilating. <laughs> yeah. I think because they delivered it in a way where it was like the funniest fucking. Did oh, he? Yeah. Was he trying to be funny? Or was he no, he was dead serious. Oh yeah, all those dudes. He was dead serious. All those dudes thought they were so. Smart. Yeah, no, he was going. I remember he was always like, "I work for BMW, man. I make six figures. I work for BMW." And he was a, like a detailer at like a BMW. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny. I totally forgot about those kids that would brag about adult stuff. Yeah. yeah oh yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah there yeah. was this white girl who was a wigger, <laughs> and she reached out to me on Facebook. Nice. Because she saw recently. Me, yeah, she saw me on Showtime. And so she was like, oh, my God, you doing things. And I was like, you're in your 30s. Yeah. You're still doing this? You're in your 30s. She was, like, hot. I'll show yeah, you a yeah, picture yeah. of her. She was hot, but yeah. she would just fuck with, like, thugs. Yeah, yeah, Like, yeah. hardcore thugs. Right. And she, uh, we were in math class. And it's so funny you bring that up with people just straight lying. She go, yeah, my dad owns Bally. And I was like, what? Yeah. Did the company go out of business? <laughs> yeah. 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 But this was back when they were like kind oh, yeah. of the, 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 like the hot thing. They kind of were like, the hot gym for their She goes, second. yeah, my dad be owning Bally's. I was like, why do you live in Aurora? <laughs> yeah. and she was like, because my mom's from here. And my dad wants me to like grow up like my mom. It's just like dumb shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, always a lie. Always a bullshit lie. Yeah, my friend, my friend told like a fucking great lie when we were like teenagers. He goes, uh, I wasn't there for it, but he told our other friend, he's like, uh, yeah, when I'm like high and shit, I can like understand German. That's hilarious. <laughs> the language. <laughs> I can't speak it, but when I'm high, I can understand it. He'd never taken German. It's just the similarity between yeah. English and German. <laughs> so used to love, you think about all those like shithead middle school, high school lies that you would tell? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Dude, we were using my mom's old forerunner to um, take out trash cans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! I used to fucking I used to t I, my first car was a fucking uh, uh, Chevy Blazer, and we yeah. would s we would set up in the Pizza Hut. There was a Pizza Hut connected to like a fucking giant and a fucking just a, a shitty strip mall in in Dundalk actually, and we would just set up like uh, uh, shopping cart obstacle courses, and I would just smash through <laughs> shopping carts in the fucking... And How then, fun is it? Yeah. Once it's you the get, most fun. Once you get through the actual thing of like, oh no, I shouldn't be doing this. Yeah. Once you've committed yeah. just, to smashing shit with a car. Yeah. So we and my mom was four on her. I didn't have a car. I think my car died or something. So I, we're driving around and I was like, hey, we should take out... I thought it was funny. I was like, let's let's take out these trash cans. So it was like... Boom. <laughs> yeah. And then it just became the whole night's activity. Of course. We just like running shit over. But we were trying to push a porto potty over. <laughs> <laughs> We were trying to push it over, and we drove by it, and I, like, tried to push it with my hand, but it fucking didn't. It just jammed my hand. And I go, oh, I broke my arm. I broke my arm. And my friend Joel was recording me on his hand camcorder. It was back in the day at camcorders. He goes, I don't think you broke your arm. And, go, I and then, like, five minutes later, he lost the videotape, but five we've watched, we watched it as adults. Five minutes later, he's sitting there and goes, hey, Soder, has your broken arm? I go, shut up. I didn't break my arm. It was one of those lies. I was like, yeah. no, guys, I really did. I broke yeah, my yeah, arm. Yeah, I'm not fucking around, yeah, guys. I definitely didn't. Dude, yeah, <laughs> fucking middle school kids' lies. Yeah. Oh. Uh, the bet um, that actually the, the car thing i kept doing that into well into my 20s really yeah me and jake flora jake jake used to have this piece of shit ford focus and i had like a shitty 96 explorer and uh we would uh yeah, one time chris cubis another comic he had to like move yeah and so he's like asked me and jake to help him move and within 30 minutes of helping him move his stuff like one of us just dropped something and it broke. Yeah. And then we were like, ha 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 ha. And then we just started trashing all of his stuff <laughs> in his like former apartment. We like took his bed frame and threw it through the wall. And like Chris didn't give it. We were just drunk. You know, yeah. it was like it was like <laughs> noon. We were trashed. It was Wednesday, and we were doing like a bit. We were like. Like this would be a funny sketch. It's called like quality movers. And they yeah. Just destroy everything, but there's no camera, so it's not a sketch. We're just <laughs> crashing, just destroying. We're just, yeah. And so he had this old computer monitor, and uh, we're like, I'm taking the thing over my head and throwing it at uh, you know the wall and shit, yeah. and smashing holes in the wall, and we're throwing it all over the the parking lot. 
trying to smash this computer monitor. But uh, so CRTs, those like cathode ray tubes. Yeah. The screen is like an inch and a half of glass. Yeah, those old computer monitors yeah, are yeah. thick as they're, fuck. They're hard yeah. as shit to break. But inside, because the way those things work is it's this like gun that shoots electrons at the screen real fast. And that's yeah. what makes it light up. And, you know, it's like precise. But so it's got to be a vacuum on the inside. So when you finally break that screen, it fucking implodes. Oh, and it's shit. like a really cool thing to see. <laughs> so, you know, and I know that. So I was like, we got to. <laughs> I, I had been in that previous situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, guys, we got to destroy this thing. And we're trying all these ways to get it to smash and we can't do it. So eventually we took the, like just the cord to it and tied it to the back of Jake's car. <laughs> And then I was, like, riding it, and he was just driving it through the fucking parking lot, and I fell off, and he's, like, going around corners and smashing it into, like, fire hydrants and shit. But, uh, yeah, no, we were, like, What if, What finally did it? Um, I think that did it. It, we, like, hit a curb, and it popped and shit, and it was kind of underwhelming. Chris had another TV. Chris had, like, a 36-inch CRT yeah. that we brought. We moved into our new the one the apartment me and Chris moved into. Yeah. With the intention of we're gonna fucking destroy this thing at some yeah. point. Right, right. And I, there was one night I was drunk and I was like, either I'm buying PS4 or a shotgun from Cabela's, <laughs> so I can shoot this fucking TV. <laughs> and I ended up buying the PlayStation, which Bummer. is still a waste of money. But uh, I don't know. I think the shotgun you would have done that. I would have killed like, myself. Yeah, I yeah. would have done the TV, <laughs> and then the next thing would have been. Like, like, or you would have hit someone with a buckshot. Yeah. And been like, I don't know. Now you have to do a comedy benefit once a year for your friend that's in a wheelchair. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you decided to fucking, to play s fucking Sarah Connor and try to do a one-arm cock of a yeah, yeah, yeah. shotgun. Yeah, yeah. Which is the one that you spin? Oh, He's no, got no way, man. That's a repeater. The, yeah, a repeater. You don't want a repeater. Yeah, yeah. Do the You'll fucking thing. blow your goddamn foot off. <laughs> Best case scenario. Yeah. Uh, nah, we had fun. That man. was, yeah. The Those stories of the fucking... I the alcoholism days are pretty hilarious. <laughs>